Our new corporate journey sets out how we'll grow and thrive over the next five years. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a huge impact on many organisations and it's changed how we all work. We must continue to keep our staff and residents safe while focusing on our main function to provide homes, manage our services and deliver our key purpose – to realise the potential in our communities. We are proud to be a resident-led organisation with our roots fixed firmly in our communities. We listen and engage with our residents to shape the services they need. Our vision is to do the best for both existing and future residents, working with like-minded people and organisations to achieve this. By empowering our residents and providing opportunities for skills development and employment, we can help create successful and sustainable communities. We offer homes for both rent and shared ownership, reinvesting our profits into home improvements. We are investing in technology, creating a customer portal to enable residents to access our services at a time that suits them. This will be supported by our customer engagement strategy to ensure a clear resident voice and an excellent community investment programme. We believe that it's not just what we do, but why and how we do it that's equally important. We hold our values dear and want our residents to do the same. We cannot achieve our purpose alone or as individuals. We want to work with others who share our values. This is at the heart of how we work with our residents and is the basis on which everything else is built. We always strive to be the best we can, learning from our mistakes and celebrating our successes. Our board, volunteers and staff are passionate about our values and are skilled in running our business. We are financially very stable and have the ability to source new funding, which is great news for our development plans. The Social Housing White Paper has directed more focus on the safety of our residents and to ensure they are listened to. As we deliver our business objectives, we must consider our environmental responsibilities. Over the next five years, we will work towards eight areas identified by our board, taking into account feedback received by residents. These are Resident Engagement, the Tenant Voice, our customer engagement strategy will strengthen the tenant voice, embracing the requirements of the social housing white paper. We'll share the changes we made with our residents' input. And we'll help residents find their voice to influence what happens in our communities. We'll ask residents what they want from our repair service and use their feedback to drive improvements. We'll review how we assure people that their homes are safe. We have ambitious plans to build 500 homes by 2024 and 120 homes each year after that. We'll consider new models of housing to meet the needs of our community. We'll look into new and cheaper funding to deliver homes where they're most needed. We'll continue to enhance existing homes while addressing the impact of the COVID-19 recession. Our investment plans will consider the government's carbon neutral requirements. We will complete the 2011 trial by December 2021 and will consider ways of growing it further. Where possible, we'll extend the benefits of the 2011 experience to Red Kite residents. We'll continue to support our residents through existing funds such as Springboard and we'll explore new opportunities. Our approach to equality and diversity will be continually reviewed to enhance our inclusive culture. So, how will we know when we've got there? Each objective will be monitored and success measures put in place. These can all be found in our corporate journey document, which is on our website. We will support this ambition by preparing a five-year action plan for all areas.